wanted to talk about cash out refinance to recycle capital. I mean, that's a nice way of saying it. I like it. Okay, so did you know that you can take the equity out of your house or a home that you own? Maybe it's not your house. Maybe it's already an investment property. You take the money out without actually selling it. You refinance it because, you know, it was cash. Now you refinanced it and you're going to take the cash out. It's called a cash out refi. Um, and this is a tool that many investors use in their portfolio to access their investment funds and to like to deal with more to growing their business. So we're going to really delve deep into what this is so you can kind of think about this strategy and see if it's going to work for you. Exactly. Therefore, now we're going to do dig in to uh, what you what already said. What is the uh, No, cash I didn't out. do it. Okay. What is the cash out refinance? A cash out refi is a mortgage refinancing option where the old mortgage is replaced with a new one um, for more than the what is owed, covering the home equity in this cash. So the strategy is used to free up cash, which then can be reinvested into other portfolios, other properties to continue scaling your portfolio investment property business. So a basic example, um, you have a you bought a townhome, you bought it with cash. Now you want to cash out, refi it, take out m money from this house, still have enough to cover the investment, you know, because you already have a renter in there. Take out money and then go buy another one. Like that's just the basic concept of it. So do you want to go understanding exactly. a little bit more? Therefore, under what is the understanding of the home equity? Therefore, if you wanted to understand, it's crucial to understand the home equity is really the difference between the market value or current market value of your house that my wife said 300. I didn't give any example. Of your property amount that you paid for it. Let's say you paid 200,000. And this way, the difference is going to be your home equity which is 100,000. My example was all cash and then you take all the money. Yeah. You had a $300,000 property, $200,000. Based of the current uh, oh, value. So you take out the 100,000 to go refinance it somewhere else and then you're owing 300,000 on that house. Now, before doing that, we wanted go to do our more. Let's, show. let's hit it. Hi, it's Alvin Torre. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Also, you call text all the time, 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Don't be shy. Also, grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Now, let's talk about eligibility because there are rules for getting this money out in order to grow your portfolio. Exactly. So typically, lenders are looking for four very specific things for all of us, and this is true for all mortgages. Um, they want to see that you have a certain level of equity in that home. They at least want you to keep 20%. What else? Exactly. Do you want? They wanted to definitely see a history of timely payment on your mortgage that you have for the house. Another thing they definitely want is a credit score, a good credit score. And of course, all the time, debt to income ratio within acceptable limits. That's what the bank wants all the time. So let's talk about the process a little bit. Now, every bank is going to work a little different. We're just going to give you the generalities. Again, we are real estate agents. We are not lenders. This is just options for you. So a cash out refinance will have several steps, just like a regular mortgage. Number one, they're going to check out your financial position. They're going to review your current mortgage terms, your current home equity, the credit scores, your DTI, your debt to income ratio. And they're really going to see how much money you might actually be willing to get. And definitely the second one is you need to shop for lenders. Of course, you can go with the lenders that you already have the finance and do through them. But also you can do shop around and see what is the best refinance rate is at the time that is the term is the most favorable for you. The third one you want to do is, of course, apply for the company that you like, whichever lenders you like best, and maybe your backup, apply for the mortgage, um, including all financial documentation to so what you have for the original mortgage so you can see, you know, submit your application. Exactly. The number four that many of you know is going through the underwriting when the lender assists your application and also they send the appraisal to understand what is the market mm -hmm. value of your home is and confirm it and then also submitting all the documents that they need from you to go through this underwriting. Now, closing is going to be really the day you're refinancing. So you're gonna close on the new mortgage, which pays off the old mortgage, and you receive the difference in cash. So this is cash in your hands. Exactly. There are benefits and of course cons to this. So let's talk about the cons and the, and exactly. the benefits. Therefore, the benefit of recycling capital via cash out refinance, the first one is access to cash. Therefore, you can liquidify that part of the market value that you have respect to the what you bought 
and then invest it in additional properties to grow your por investment portfolio. Mm, another thing is potentially you could, in some time, some situations of current filming of this video, probably not, but you never know what the future might hold when you're watching this video. So I would say potentially lower interest rates for based on what the market is since you had your original mortgage. So you have to pay attention to that interest rate because that can be dicey. What's another one? Number three basically is interest tax deduction, which the interest that you pay under your refinances could be tax deductible if the cash used for the investment purposes on the other property for por por your portfolio. Now cons, things to think about, um, is going to be of course closing cost number one. Um, you do have to pay fees, law lawyers, lender fees, so there are closing costs involved, it's not free. What's another one? The next one is definitely phrase, is liability, it. which is the increasing the debt. The new mortgage will be larger than the old one, therefore, uh, this one, you definitely make sure your debt to income ratio is going to change and it's going to get higher. Honestly, for this one, I'm going to give my own personal opinion on this one. It might be a little controversial, but I'm going to add my personal opinion here um, because I, I should. I would never have done this on my personal home. My personal property, I would not even consider a cash out refi. Why? Because it's my personal property. I'm going to live in it. If it is for an investment purposes, um, investment becomes a difference. You want an investment property and you want to you know, cash out refi, then you're going to buy a different investment. You're not living in this. This is all about going towards different place, different avenues of investment so if you're comfortable with it making sure these payments are covered by the rent or whatever that will increase your debt load but also kind of keep you on a little bit of a safer side and, and the third one is the possible PMI mm -hmm. no? uh, which is premium mortgage insurance and if you don't maintain at least 20 percent on uh, LTV or loan to value amount definitely you need to pay the mortgage insurance it makes your payment more and your ROI is smaller. The last thing we're gonna say is market risk. So the property could decrease in value, it could increase in value, it could be more than it's worth, it could be less than it's worth. So you have to take risk when we're dealing with investments this way as well. So I would say, run the numbers. Explain that to more Exactly. Deeper. Therefore, before you do anything, you need to talk at least to your CPA, if you have a CPA, or do the math or in your head. The, do the math on the paper, as we said, the pros and cons, and see, calculate the potential cost that you have for this mortgage and what is going to be involved for the mortgage payment, all your expenses, and then the amount that you get, uh, the profit that you get. That's why that gives you cash on cash or ROI on your property investment. Right, so let's just give you an example. You have a property with $150,000 yes. worth of equity in it on a, and the remaining mortgage is three hundred fifty. dollars So this means the lender is going to allow you to take up 80%, which is going to be about five, the home is worth about $500. You're eligible to refinance at $400. We already said you own three fifty, dollars so you are really taking $50,000. Exactly. Um, just to show you kind of numbers there. So that is kind of how the numbers work. Okay. What is the final word for the For cash refi? out refi, if you're talking about it for investment purposes because you're looking to make sure that your capital isn't tied to one property and you want to kind of reinvest and kind of grow your investment portfolio, it's not a bad concept. It's a decision that you should think about carefully. Um, there are costs and benefits and 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 cons, pros and cons, and it really depends on your financial stability or your financial stability. Exactly. Um, so make sure that you're doing all of your homework, you're doing your due diligence, you're analyzing everything, um, and you're consulting with financial advisors, you're consulting with everybody who's involved, because this is going to make sure it has to align with your goals. So make sure it's Which your goal. Which is your passive income. Right. So if that goal is there, then that is something to talk about. Exactly. And don't forget to call Alan, Alan Victoria, local real estate agent in Greenville and Pitt County, North Carolina. We love to help you and also watch this video. We're going to be connecting with you in the next video.